Next up, we have the Haymaker. Uh, these are a um, a kind of a looks like they would be a, a just a regular headphone, but also uh, gaming support. Mm -hmm. So if you want to, you know, PC game with them, uh, mm -hmm. they will do that. This uh, definitely plays into a little bit of the attitude feel. Mm -hmm. uh, just in, even in the copy that they have on the back. Uh, this is nice looking. The packaging is cool. Mm -hmm. It's very, uh, very nice. Yeah. Seems the whole thing oh, premium. Looks, yep. And intentional. Doesn't feel like. Yep. Let's just throw them in a the bag. We'll throw them in a box. Um, so these are a premium, you know, brand. Uh, these run about three thirty. So it's not a cheap headphone. Not not something you're just gonna get because you like music. These are things that you're gonna be uh, gaming now if you're into you know like a quality pair of headphones. And it, you start talking about three hundred dollar price point seems pretty rich for a lot of people's blood. Yeah. But these are the types of headphones that you buy them once. You don't buy every year. You know this isn't like an entry level pair of turtle beach headphones that you pick up at target for right. your kid these are you know these are a premium brand and they have uh so this is another uh, has a hard shell case for travel has a little loop on it if you want to you know hang it off your bag or something like that it looks like um it's got that same kind of carbon fiber mm -hmm. kind of accent with the uh haymaker logo um let's see what these things actually look like a little bit of foam in here the case has some pockets uh and ooh, these so these are braided cables which mm -hmm. is nice you got a usb c to a braided cable and a 3.5 millimeter jack uh 3.5 millimeter cable braided are nice because they don't tangle that's right they, you could kind of twist them up they'll come undone much quicker got a little haymaker Carabiner. Carabiner. And then this is the uh, um, PC controller adapter. So if you want to do kind of like an inline microphone, um, looks like there's toggles for HD sound, for muting the mic, and for a 7.1 surround, looks mm -hmm. like. That's correct. Um, and let's get back. Let's get to these bad boys. All right. Again, the it's got the carbon fiber, uh, carbon fiber kind of feel to it, uh, with the H logo on each earphone with uh, Haymaker along the top. It is a nice adjustable headband. Uh, doesn't have a lot of the ones we see have like a click to them. Yeah, this is very smooth. There's no, there's no uh, click. The earphones just pop right off. It comes with two different kinds. Uh, on the side here, there is uh, controls for um, Bluetooth or if you're just going direct. Um, and has a cover for the uh, a little uh, dust cover for any aux cables. Mm -hmm. um, and a cover for the charging port. These are a uh, memory foam yeah so and then you've got uh the ones that are on it now are kind of like the faux leather mm -hmm. i think it's uh, i don't think it's actual leather i think it's faux leather but uh and then the memory foam is another option they have a nice magnetic connection to them mm -hmm. so it seems you know you won't have to worry about there's not like a, a button to click to release them or you won't have to worry about any kind of um, anything like that, uh, degrading over time, the magnets will just work. Uh, the plastic, I will say that it feels the plastic on these feel a little cheap on the outside of the shell. Yeah. On the outside of the ear shell, but I don't get that feeling from the headset at all. Right. Um, but the ear cups, they, it's they really light. It's very light. Really light. Which is a good balance because it this this head this the headphones are a little heavy. These are full. Uh, are they full RGB or they have uh, up up 
to a certain amount of colors. They are RGB lights, but I'm not sure if it has the full. Um, but from look. what I remember seeing on the the logo here will light up and then the haymaker up top lights up. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see. How they feel. Each RGB lights built into the headphone. Sets the tone, creates a soothing, relaxed atmosphere. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't say. And it says uh, synchronizes with other gaming items like chairs or tower cases. Nice. Uh, the just putting on different earphones here to see how that feels. Both feel, like feel really, really nice. Yeah, so both of these are very soft. I can definitely see, you know, hours of playtime on there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whether you're listening to music or playing a game or something, uh, if you're going to have those on for a long period of time, I don't mm -hmm. think you'll have any discomfort. Um, the ear cups might be, uh, might be sl slightly small for some people. I, I they feel like. Um, they are over ear. Yeah. So it, I mean, depending on how big your ears are. Right. But, uh, yeah, these are, they're comfortable. They're very comfortable. And, uh, man, this is, it's got some weight to it. This headset mm -hmm. has some weight to it. And, and I wonder know, if that's has, why these are so light. Exactly. To kind of offset that. It, um, you know, it, it is Bluetooth and active noise canceling. So you have all of those, uh, all of that built into the headset. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have, you know, a little bit of weight for all of that to work. But so um, I'm looking at the uh, instruction manual here and it shows a lot of functions mm -hmm. with the uh, buttons on the left ear cup. You can do things like uh, double tap to play, pause, skip forward and back on your music, swipe up and down for volume. And you can also take and receive calls. And then, uh, you also have uh, the LED indicator shows uh, switch it to uh, Bluetooth off and on. Tell you different colors to tell you if it's in range, out of range, nice. pairing, uh, battery alert. So this brand is actually the headphone itself is it seems to be the only product that they have. Uh -huh. uh, and I think it was available as a uh, crowdfunding or... Um, Kickstarter or Indiegogo, I'm not sure which one. Sure. That it was uh, a couple of years ago, but I believe it is now rolling out or is now available to purchase in a retail uh, setting. So, yeah. Uh, you're going to give these a review. I will. Yeah. yeah I'm going to put some time into them and see what they can do. Uh, I, first blush, I'm impressed. They even have, uh, looks like a little spot for a cable to come through here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you. Uh, I don't know what that would be used for, but yeah, but it looks like it, it does kind of hold that cable from, uh, yeah. Put your phone in there. Yeah. Maybe you put your phone in and then you got your cable coming through. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, everything is made very well. It's, yeah. I mean, these are, they're definitely pricey, but the build quality looks to be right on par with what they're asking. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if, uh, if they match with the sound quality, but, uh, so far, uh, I'm pretty excited to yeah. dive into these things. So we'll check back uh, another week or two and see how you feel. Mm -hmm. And these are the uh, Haymaker uh, headphones with uh, gaming. Uh, compatibility. Compatibility, yeah. Yep. All Thanks, right. Luke. No problem. Mm -hmm.